Welcome to Study Time, a televised home learning program produced by Rwanda Education Board. Hello student, welcome to the TV series. I'm teacher Habat. I'll be taking you through biology senior three. Students, you all know that they, we close the term before the end of the first term because of the coronavirus outbreak, where we are going to be continuing studying when we are at home. Students, remember to wash your hands with a soap and a clean water. Good. And remember to stay home. Excellent. Students, we are going to start our lesson today of biology. So please take your notebooks, your exercise books, and those have the textbooks, you can have the textbooks and we start our lesson today. Our lesson today, I will be taking you through a unit seven. I mean, it is a revision on unit seven, which is concerning about heterotrophic nutrition. Before we start heterotrophic nutrition, we have to remind ourselves about some of the important concepts that is concerning about nutrition. These are the concepts we have to discuss. We have to talk about nutrition. Review. We're going to talk about nutrition. This is number one. Number two, we're going to talk about uh, autotrophic nutrition. Students, I would like to ask you, what is nutrition? I think this is very interesting. You remember, in previous classes, you talked about nutrition, where you said nutrition is one of the characteristics of living things. So what is nutrition? Think about it and tell me the answer. Nutrition, excellent. Nutrition, here is the definition. He gave us the definition. Nutrition refers to the intake of nutrients and other substances into the body and making a part of our body, our body tissues, our body tissues. Excellent. So let's now go what is heterotrophic, autotrophic nutrition, sorry. What is autotrophic nutrition? Good. Autotrophic nutrition, excellent. Autotrophic nutrition, let's have autotrophic nutrition. She said autotrophic nutrition is concerning about photo 
synthesis. And he said photosynthesis. What is the definition of, of photosynthesis? Excellent. It is a type of nutrition where by the green plants makes their own food materials, own food materials from inorganic, inorganic compounds like the carbon dioxide and water in the presence presence of sunlight and sunlight and chlorophyll good here is the definition of autotrophic nutrition. We said it is a type of nutrition whereby the green plants make their own food materials from inorganic compounds like carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. Excellent. Students, who can give me the equation of Photosynthesis. And what are the raw materials? What are the conditions? And what are the products? Excellent. She said the definition. Let me write the definition. Here is the definition that you, get, you gave, and right now we're going to write the equation of photosynthesis. A summarized equation of photosynthesis. You can have this. That is the equation. You have carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of sunlight, sunlight energy, and chlorophyll CH6, hydrogen 12, oxygen 6 plus oxygen, which is given out as a byproduct. Remember to balance the equation. Six, six, six. Yes, students, that is the equation of photosynthesis. Now, what in, this, in that equation, what are the raw materials, what are the conditions, and what are the products of photosynthesis? Excellent. Nice. The raw, the, the raw materials are, these are the raw materials. The raw materials are the carbon dioxide and water. The conditions are, these are the conditions. And these are the products. Students. What is the use of oxygen in that is produced by the plants? Nice. It is used in respiration. So let us now go to our revision on heterotrophic nutrition.
Students, what do you understand by heterotrophic nutrition? Excellent. Is a type of nutrition where by an organism feeds on already made food. That is say, here is the definition. in which organisms depends on other organisms for food to survive. That is the definition. The definition of heterotrophic nutrition is a type of nutrition in which an organism depends on other organisms for food to survive. Can we have examples? Can we have examples of heterotrophs? Students, give me examples of heterotrophs. Good. There is humans, human beings. Yes, good. Animals. Yes, fungi. Good. And protesters. Protesters, e.g., can talk about amoeba. Amoeba. And paramecium. So these are these are the examples of heterotrophic nutrition. In heterotrophic nutrition, the organisms has to digest food and break it from a complex food molecules or compounds into a simple molecules that can be used by the body to make, or can be used by the body, or can be absorbed by the body to make our body tissues. We can say most of these heterotrophs, they feed on already made food. Excellent. Students, let's have the types or the modes of heterotrophic nutrition. Students, the question is this. What are the types or the modes of heterotrophic nutrition? the types of heterotrophic nutrition. Yes, excellent. One is horzoic, good. Number two, good. Saprophytism, mode of nutrition. The last one is parasitism. Students, as we all know that this is a revision, who can defend for me what, what are horozoic? What are horozoic? Yes. 
Good. The organisms feed and ingest the solid organic matter and they are going to be absorbed into the body. Is that right? Here is the definition. Check in your books if you have the same definition that I'm going to give you on a chalkboard. By ingesting the salt organic matter, which which can be digested and absorbed, which can just be digested and absorbed. If we can talk about this, the food, the, the normal feed by ingesting the salt organic matter, which can be digested and absorbed into their body tissues. Here we can talk about the three, the five steps of about digestion. Here I can talk about the food has to be ingested. There is what you call ingestion. That is number one. There is digestion. There is Absorption, then there is assimilation, and lastly is what you call ejection. Good. I think all of you know that what you call ingestion, a digestion, absorption, assimilation, and ejection. When you talk about ingestion, process of taking in food into our mouth. Digestion, breaking down a complex food material into a simple soluble compound that can be absorbed into the body. Absorption, that is absorbing the end product of digestion. And you know, student, who can remind me where absorption takes place? Good, in the ileum. Absorption takes place in where? In the ileum. Those who don't know what is ileum, we can refer them that as the small intestines. Assimilation, utilization of the end product of digestion. These food that are going to be, that are after being digested and absorbed, they're going to be utilized by our body. Ejection, a removing of undigested food materials from our body. These substances that are not being digested, they're going to be removed from our body as undigested food materials. Good. Let's talk about saprophytes. Let me have the saprophytes now. Saprophytism. Who can define for me what are, saprophy what are saprophytes? Nice and interesting. Saprophytes are the organisms that the feeds on dead, decayed organic matter. They feed, these are organic feeds on dead, decaying organic matter. They feed on dead organic matter, decaying organic matter. Okay? This, it's not, not organic, it is inorganic matter, inorganic matter organic matter. Excellent. Student, who can give me an example of saprophytes? Yes. Examples of saprophytes are mushrooms. We have fungi. You can ask a question to yourself. How does this fungi and mushroom digest food material? They have enzymes. These enzymes are called, these enzymes are called extracellular enzymes. They break down, they are produced by these mushrooms and fungi, and they are able to break down to decompose. They are decomposers to break down the, organ, the inorganic substances and they are easier to be absorbed by the body. If I say extracellular enzymes, who can tell me what are extracellular enzymes? Think about it. Good. 
extracellular enzymes. These are enzymes that are produced inside, but they work outside. Excellent. Let us go to, to what you call, let's what, talk about what you call Liz. Number three is parasitism. What is parasitism mode of nutrition? This is, I'm asking you what is parasitism. Excellent, excellent. Parasitism is a type of nutrition whereby an organism depends to other organisms and can cause a harm. You can say organisms, this is a type of nutrition, a type of nutrition, a type of nutrition where the organism, the organism obtains its nutrients from other organisms. Good. Who can give me examples of parasites? Yes. Yes. We have fleas. We have we have fleas, we have rice, we have ticks. We have tapeworms. Excellent. These are examples of parasites. And parasites are categorized into two types. Who can mention those two types? Excellent. We have ectoparasites and endoparasites. So the, the ectoparasites and endoparasites are found inside our body. They are found, endo, endoparasites are found inside our body. Then ecto are found on the body surface. Good. Here is the a small, simple, a summarized chart that gives you the details of our, about these three major types of heterotrophic nutrition. We have nutrition. Heterotrophic nutrition, we have the number one is holozoic nutrition. I said the organs feeds by ingesting solid food materials, which is then digested into their body, e.g. human, animals, and insectivorous plants. If I say insectivorous plants, these are, plant, these are insects, which normal, these are plants which feed on insects. Insectivorous plants, these are plants that feed on insects. We have saprophytism, they feed on dead, decayed organic matter. Parasites, they obtain their nutrients from other organisms. Parasites, they have, have what you call a parasite and a host. Parasites, they normally live on the bodies of the hosts. I think they, you have a summarized chart that gives you the detailed information about the three types of heterotrophic nutrition. Students, let us go to the self evaluation. Self evaluation. I think I will give you the self evaluation. I think that self evaluation, we are going to do it in the next onset of the next lesson on TV. This is the exercise, the self evaluation we are going to do. We have what is nutrition? Second, what is heterotrophic nutrition? Three, give three types of heterotrophic nutrition. And also, also this one also could be including to be number. Four, which is explain the structure and function of the teeth. So dear students, dear students, you can make an assignment or a self-evaluation which is going to be discussed in the next onset of the, of the next onset lesson. The next onset lesson. Students, before I end our lesson of today, I want all of you to take a note of some of the reference books 
where you can extract the information we discussed today. We have students' book for biology and health science of Rwanda schools. Where you can get that information, you check on page 96. The second reference books, you can also get the, the information. Introduction to Biology, third edition, page 82 and up to 85. The last one is New Biology for Tropical Schools, third edition, page 134. You can also get a link from REB where you can extract more secondary books. So students, thank you for watching and participating in my lesson, and thank you for watching on TV. See you next time.